Right, so I want to address something about this because uh, there's a lot of people that don't obtain common sense in their life. So, <laughs> cheers, Tyler. Oh, get out. <clears throat> right, so what happens? Uh, the way I perp uh, when I'm doing a long bed and I'm at the back, I, I just flick a bit on the front and a bit on the back. And I get a lot of comments saying, ah, it's empty, blah, blah, blah. So let me just show you saying how physics works, right? When you put a bed on top, like that, and you push it down, and another one, right? That might be a little bit empty, but like that. Let me show you what happens to that bit once you lay over the top. And the reason I don't fill it there and then is because it is faster to just flick the front and flick the back. This is why I can get a lot of bricks down because I'm not faffing about doing like one, two, three moves and perping off the wall. It's just a one, two, and then you're away. I know that the perps are gonna be filled when I run over the top of the bed. Anyway, I'm just gonna chuck a few bricks in because I've got a little bit of a tip for you for down this end. So when you come to doing this section around the back or up here, the easiest way I find, I don't plumb this, I plumb this one point here and this point should be plumb. So you have these two points to work from. So when I lay over the top, I will lay across and I'll use my eye to eye across the top here to get it where I think it's gonna be. Then I will lay the next one over here. I cross the top there. And then I'll just chuck that one in like that without perping on there first. Then I'll get my tape because I, I will use my eye mainly to make sure that this isn't twisted this way or this way which you should be able to as you get more so I, I want my pier to be 330 so I'm just measuring there so I haven't got to plumb this point I've eyed this through this side so I haven't got to plumb this point I'll just make sure it's 330 I'll make sure this point here to this point here is 330 and I'll make sure this point here to this point here is 215 now if I do that the whole way up this is going to be spot on when I get to the top nothing's going to have spread if your wall is slightly leaning in or out your pier will stay the same the whole way up even though it is wrong it will still look nice to the eye um, now I've been plumbing this so it's nice and plumb now so I bought these online, these are crap, they're like a cheap knockoff version of the BT ones, uh, but the BT ones are the bollocks, uh, so now I can just chuck that in. Right, good to go. So, 
now this is nice and stuck on there I can just run in run to this point um, if I eye this through correctly this will be plumb and if I measure over measure over measure over measure over I won't have to fuck about too much with a level uh, well I won't have to fuck about with that at all with a level by just having my tape on my side keep in check like that everything will stay the same as long as this is plumb this is plumb and I eye this through well I won't have to use a level and then I'll just obviously just fill that in like that done job let's get a couple in shall we right it's now 20 past nine let's see what we can do one side up that is fucking windy out there bro. uh yeah just uh refueling the tank <laughs> we've got uh amy made me a little fruit salad we've got mangoes strawberries and some grapes a little litre bottle of water just a bit of himalayan salt in there with some lemon and the main one three scoops of coffee get you buzzing <laughs> we're pissing like a racehorse after that i tell you <laughs> got to put some good nutrients in your body if you uh, if you actually want to perform at work. If you've got a high performance job like bricklaying and you're eating junk all the time and fucking drinking them cans of monsters and fucking eating shite like bread and pasta, you're going to feel bloated, you're going to feel heavy, you need to be feeling nimble and quick with uh, bricklaying. And uh, you got fruit. It literally, uh, well, after you've eaten fruit, you don't feel like you've eaten, which is how you're supposed to feel. When you eat like breads, heavy breads and pastas and that, and you start, oh, I can't be asked, I'm oh, tired. That's because your body's fucking trying to digest this shit that it's not supposed to put in there. Whereas fruit, 20 minutes to digest fruit, as we are fruitarians by nature. That's what our body actually requires out of everything. It's the only thing you could probably eat and enjoy raw is fruit. So common sense would say, if the only thing you can eat raw and enjoy it raw, like, you know, vegetables, you don't like enjoying raw, do you? Meat, you don't enjoy raw. Uh, but fruit, you enjoy raw. So if that doesn't, to me, mean that that's what our body really wants, then, you know, I don't know what fucking does. It works well for me, eating a bit of fruit, bit of coffee and I'm good to go. So take what you want from it. Couldn't really give a fuck what you eat if I'm honest. Certainly gives me a good amount of energy for the job that I need. Right, back to it. done it is two o'clock it's gonna back up a bit of the wall and call it a day about three o'clock what are you making wifey <laughs> why don't you show everyone your little apron <laughs> <laughs> you're not a fucking princess well get you in that naked later yeah <laughs> roast dinner my favorite bosh have a good one <laughs> 